Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Um, this is my very first video that I've made. Um, I'm going to be focusing my channel on preparedness, not necessarily doomsday preparedness, like there's going to be marauding gangs of, you know, whatever out there ready to come and kill us all because we have a can of corn. Um, it's not, I don't believe anything like Mad Max is going to happen, that kind of thing, but I am concerned. I have a two-year-old and I have a little one on the way, actually due very soon. And um, I'm concerned about their safety. And if something happens, such as a Hurricane Sandy, a Katrina, a tornado like in Joplin, Missouri, or one from Indiana, um, you know, we live in the Midwest, so there are things that can happen. So. I am kind of preparing my family for natural disasters, not necessarily hurricanes because like I said we are in the Midwest, but we do get blizzards. We do have times where the power could be out for 10-12 days um, that we can't get out of our driveway that um, you know if a tornado does come and wipes out all of the gas stations, what, what are we going to do for fuel, what are we going to do for food for first aid for for whatever so that, that's what I'm going to be focusing on so today I'm kind of looking at uh, first aid because uh, actually my son past two weeks has gashed his mouth and his cheeks on random things <laughs> being a two-year-old he's uh, he stumbles a lot so that really got me thinking that I need to have a first aid kit number one at home but also, we are at different parks, we're out hiking, we're doing different things, and he's, he's an active toddler. So, what I did is I put together a couple first aid kits that I'd like to show you to give you ideas on things that you could do. Um, this is a work in progress, so if you have any comments to help me or things that I can think about, please go ahead um, and let me know about them, okay? Just be polite please. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to look at what I have. Okay? Okay, this is my home first aid kit. It's um, definitely lacking at the moment because I kind of pilfered from that for my car and camping first aid kits. Um, as you can see, uh, different band-aids. Uh, I've got different size gauze pads because with my son I found that there are a couple of things that I need a big 4x4 inch uh, a pad compared to a 2x2. Two two. And sometimes, you know, small band-aids work better than big band-aids. So, anyways, this is what I have for right now and I'm, I'm adding to it as we go right now. So, we have those, uh, you know, basic band-aids, um, steri strips, um, some saline right here in, in case I needed to flush out a cut, nick, a wound, whichever. Um, also, we do have some uh, iodine swabs. And coming down into the bottom, bottom area, I do have some tape. I've got an iPad and more band-aids. Now, again... This, I have pilfered from this one, but it kind of gives you an idea of a real nice way to organize everything so you know where things are. Um, I also do have a big surgical pad that if there's a gusher from his arm or from somebody's leg or whichever, then I can slap that on there, tie it up, get to the emergency room. Okay. Um, hand sanitizer, anyone with kids knows you need to have some of that. Um, some uh, hydrogen peroxide and um, I also do have some isopropyl alcohol. Now in here also I normally do have Neosporin and other um, bandages but again this is a, uh, a work in progress for my home. Okay, um, So come over here and this is something that my wife and I really do like it's the exact same container, but this one is nothing but medications. Uh, you know, um, everything from throw lozenges 
to um, gas X <laughs> and um, cord aid. Um, down here, I've got ibuprofen and other cold stuff, mucinex. Um, I've got some Pepto, some um, Imodium, you know, a whole bunch of different med medications. Over here, a lot of times you get items that have to stand up. So we have, you know, talcum powder and um, anti-itch lotion and, you know, cough, cough syrup, things like that, that just need, need to stand up. Both of these containers we got at the container store and they, they were, you know, I, I'm going to guess five bucks. But I tell you what, all we have to do is go into the bathroom, they're in the closet, and they're nice, easy to carry. You can also see what's in each of them. Um, one thing I do want to do is just on the end of them, I want to put medications right here, and I want to put first aid on the other one, and that way we can definitely tell real quick what's um, what it's all about. So this one right here, this is my, um, I'm a backpacker and I'm going to actually put this down. I apologize for the shaking here. Um, I'm a backpacker so I have a lot of need for extra first aid kits. And this one, now it's adventure medical kits, but I actually just bought the, the case online from another company and I filled in everything that I need um, according to the Red Cross website the anatomy of a first aid kit so everything in here is what the Red Cross recommends and then I also added to it so something that I like about adventure medical kits whether you buy their kit or you make your own is that each section is labeled so you know exactly what is in each section so the bleeding obviously bandages steri strips i even actually have a, some tampons in here and that's real good for nosebleeds and other things like that um, if you open them up and you can see the amount of different gauze pads i've got a big trauma pad right here actually a couple of those um, four by four pads um, so, so anyways, very self-explanatory. In the fracture and sprain area, I've got some tape. I have ace bandage, cold compress, gauze pad. And this thing right here is kind of like a SAM splint, but smaller. You, what you do is you roll that out, put it across whatever bone, and basically ace bandage or tape it up and then get to the emergency room. Um, first aid kit manual or first aid manual medications instruments. I've got everything from tweezers to a thermometer, um, Blistex, Advil, Tylenol. Um, these things right here you can actually buy at Lowe's, just where like the, all the candy bars are and stuff. I have a magnifying glass so you can actually see like ticks or anything to pull. Um, it also, I also bought separately from Adventure Medical Kits this first aid book, which is real nice. Not that um, you can just look at a book and all of a sudden be able to treat whatever, but I have glanced at it at least, so I kind of do have an idea on what, what's needed. Um, I've got a whole bunch of moleskin, um, cortisone, different things. Uh, I have tushy wipes right here <laughs> um, in case there's chafing or I need to clean something up and Germex of course. Um, and then back here inside of that one I do have a space blanket. I've got tissue. I actually have a flashlight. Sorry about the shaking. Um, and a glow stick. I've got toothbrushes um, and there's my glow stick. So in case I have to see something and it's starting to get dark you know uh, in order to t treat something even taking a tick off it, it, in in the night i'll be able to do it so um i'm actually going to have a couple of these maybe not this uh, this full but i'll have one in each car my wife and my car and then this one kind of travels with us when we go camping when we go to the park um things like that so Basically, I can treat most things with this. Of course, you know, I'm not going to be suturing anything up at this point. 
Um, again, I'm not planning on having any sort of major catastrophe as far as, you know, the government going under or something like that. But, you know, these are good things for my family to help us in times of an emergency. And you never know when they'll come up. So I do want to say thank you, YouTube. And I will be putting more uh, videos on maybe today, maybe tomorrow. And um, I will show you other things that we're doing. All right, you have a good day.